Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for y'all in my Hobonichi Cousin for the week of July 4th through the 10th. And I made myself this cute patriotic sampler to use this week. I also have this sheet of patriotic hearts and flags that I made for myself a while ago. This is just so that I have stuff to mark Memorial Day, Patriot Day, things like that. And I also have this cute little 4th of July sampler from Once More With Love. So as you can see on my little uh, mini kit here, if you will. I didn't put any washi because I wanted to use up some washies for my collection. I have all of these and they're all from Hobby Lobby. I think I can incorporate all of them except for this one with the ice creams on it, which is unfortunate because it's really cute, but this shade of blue just doesn't really match. So I will save that for another time. I also pulled out a red and a blue mild liner. I've been loving doing my sidebar with mild liners, so I'm going to do that again this week. And I have my tool pen in fine point to write with. So everything I mentioned will be linked down below if you're interested. And of course, I also have my pencil board back here ready to go. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and put down the base of my spread and then I will come back and talk you to the rest of it. Okay y'all, the base of my spread is down, so I put down my full box over here and my date covers. I put down one strip of washi. I want to use the rest of the washi, but I think I'm going to wait and incorporate it as we go through the spread. I mark the 4th of July and put down my weekend banner. And for my sidebar, I wish I'd put my box up higher because I wanted to put a Bible verse at the bottom, but I ran out of room, so. Oh well, now I'm going to zoom you in and we will get started planning the week. Okay, so on Monday I did sleep in, and I might mark that, but I know I need to make myself some more sleep in scripts, but I'll see if I can find something to uh, mark it right now. I actually keep a running list on uh, a sticky note on my desk of sheets I need to print and cut for myself, but sometimes I just don't get around to it. Okay, I don't think I have a script, so I am just going to move on and mark my breakfast because for breakfast, Ashley made us red, white, and blue French toast, which was very tasty. I absolutely love French toast. And if you saw my last plan with me, you'll know that I made strawberry and blueberry syrup or blackberry syrup. And I made this, those syrups so that we could have red, white, and blue French toast. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this French toast sticker from my shop and put it down. So this is only the second spread I've done in this planner and it's so thin. It feels so weird. It's going to take some getting used to. All right, and then I wanted to, or we did start a puzzle, start a new puzzle this day, because of course it was a day off. So I think I'm gonna mark that with this puzzle sticker. This is from Midnight Snack Planner. Next, I think I'll mark that we went out to eat lunch. Um, we went to this place called Bad Daddy's, which is a burger restaurant, so 
I'm going to need a burger sticker. I think I'm going to use this one from Happy Daya. And I'm going to put it on a quarter box. Okay, and then after lunch, I actually took a nap, which I almost never do, but I knew I was going to be up late um, to watch the fireworks, so I wanted to take a nap. So I'm going to mark that with this Couch Winston from my shop. Okay, and then I think I'm going to have room to put down some washi tape. I want to use this pinwheels one, so let's put that down underneath the napping. And to cut my washi, I have been using my clear um, Erin Condren ruler. Okay, so in the evening we went to a baseball game, so I'm going to use this red, white, and blue stars half box to mark that along with this baseball sticker that I made for myself. And while we were there I got a soft pretzel which if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that's one of my favorite foods. So I was really excited that they had them there. So I'm going to mark that. I have a couple different soft pretzel stickers. Uh, I think they're in my other binder though. Okay, I'm going to take this one from Happy Daya. And the last thing I'm going to mark for Monday is the fireworks with this fireworks sticker from Once More With Love. Okay, and that will take care of Monday. So on to Tuesday. I actually slept in again on Tuesday because my sister was working 8 to 4 and my schedule basically lines up with hers so I'm going to mark her working 8 to 4 with this blue dot. And whoops. As I already said, I don't think I have any sleep-in scripts, so I'm just going to skip the marking the sleeping in. And instead I'm going to mark that we had more French toast. I don't want to put two French toast stickers really close together though, so I think instead um, I'm going to go with this food munchkin from Once More With Love because it's really adorable. Okay, next I wanted to do the dishes, so I'm going to grab a dishes sticker. I think this time I'm actually going to use this one, which is from a shop that no longer exists. I'll put that right there. I 
Okay, and then to take up just a little bit of space, I'm going to put down this skinny hooray summer washi. It's so cute. Okay. Okay, next I want to mark that I needed to post $2 Tuesday. So I think I'm going to grab a laptop sticker for that. I'm going to use this blue one from Planner S. Put that right there. Then I wanted to film, edit, and upload. So I think to mark all that, I'm going to use a camera sticker and then just pair it with this edit upload script that I made for myself. And that will take care of that. I also wanted to, so I have this document on my Google Drive, which I call my tasks and ideas document. And basically it's just a document with two columns. And on one side I put down things I actually need to do. And on the, the other side I put um, things I want to do or ideas I have or things that are very much so in the background. So I call that my tasks and ideas document and I wanted to update it on this day. I also wanted to, or I did make dinner this day since Ashley was working late. So for that, I'm going to use this cute girl sticker from Happy Daya. And then I think I'm going to mark there was a really bad storm this evening. I was honestly surprised our power didn't go out, but I'm very thankful that it did not. I really need to get more thunderstorm stickers because I'm almost out, but I do have one left. That is from Happy Daya. All right, then oh, I FaceTimed my mom and also my grandma during the storm. So I am going to grab a phone sticker. For that, I think I'm going to use one of our Winston ones where you can see him. And I'm going to put that on a label. Alright, and last up I want to mark that I finished uh, the book I've been reading. So I'm going to grab a book sticker for that. Actually, I think I'm going to use this girl from Happy Daya because she's red and she matches pretty well. to Wednesday we go. So on Wednesday, Ashley was back to her normal work schedule and everything, so um, I didn't need to sleep in or anything. So I did my normal morning workout. Let's go ahead and mark that. I think I'm going to use, um, use a shoe. Yes, I use a shoe sticker from my shop. And I'm also going to put that on one of these thinner labels.
All right. And then I needed to um, move money to, to my savings account and also pay my Target bill. So I'm just gonna use a couple of dots for that. I need to fill orders so I'm going to take um, I think this lighter red box and put that down and get a silhouette sticker I think I'll use this cute mouse one that is from Happy Day of. And unfortunately this day, my silhouette was being one of the ones I have, which is giving me so much trouble. Um, so I'm going to mark that with one of my, I got Happy Sad stickers from Happy Day, which I kind of want to use, but it was, it was more like angry than sad. So let's see what else we can this one would be good. This feeling crazy Winston. I also have these cute no guinea pigs. That would be good. Um, all right, let's use one of these. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this one from Happy Day. It's just so cute. Then I wanted to work on the anniversary art for our shop anniversary for a little while. So to mark that, I'm going to use this cute iPad sticker. This is from Very Cute Designs. to the post office. I'm going to grab a post office sticker. And for that I'm going to use a Winston. Next, I want to mark that Ashley brought me a cookie because they had something, some food catered in to work that day and there were leftovers, so she brought me home a cookie, which was really nice of her. So I'm going to use this blue box down here to mark that. I also got happy mail this day from Once More With Love, so I'm going to mark that. Which happy mail sticker should I use? I'm going to use this happy mail one instead. I wanted to start a new book. I wanted to start this book called Black Sheep, which was by Georgette Hare. So, and I've already finished it. So the reason I got this book was because I really like this book by Georgette Hare called Cotillion. 
and I picked up Black Sheep. It actually said that this is considered her best book ever. So I was like, oh, I gotta read it if it's better than Cotillion, which it was not, in case you're wondering, or personally, I didn't think it was better. Um, but I'm so glad I read it. It was still fun to read because it's very Jane Austen-y. Um, if you're a fan of Jane Austen, you'll probably like Georgette Hare. Although the storylines are not as complex, if you will. I'm going to put down this washi strip to take up some space um, before I mark reading. So now I'm gonna put my Winston back down and to mark reading, I'm gonna use this blue, blah, this blue cat sticker from a Sticker Fever. All right, over to Thursday. I'll put my stack of book stickers away. All right, Thursday, um, workout again, and also on Friday. So should I mark those? Go ahead and mark all that at once, or what I want to do? I might mark it a bit differently each day. Let's get out some stickers, and then we'll decide. Okay, that should be enough to choose from for right now. Um, these I think will match really well with this spread. And I want to use these workout scripts that I made for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and put one down right here and then take this weight sticker, which is from Polaris. And I'm going to move this over some because it's a little bit too... I don't want it to hang over into the next day too much. Okay. And for Friday, I'm going to take a running Winston and put him down and then I'll write next to that one just to switch it up a bit. And that will finish up my workouts for the week. Oops, I need to move my pencil board. Why didn't you remind me? I'm glad I, <laughs> glad I caught that. Maybe it's just like placebo or something, but I feel like writing with the pencil board makes my writing a million times better. Anyway, back to Thursday. I worked on my sales tax pretty much the whole morning, so I'm gonna use my plaid half box to mark doing that. And I have some work stickers, very specific work stickers that I want to use to mark this. I just gotta find them. This is one of my sticker sheets that I sort of um, hoard. I want to use this Dead from Working Panda from Happy Daya. Do y'all hoard sticker sheets if you really really like them? I know um, there's actually some sticker sheets where I buy multiples just so I'll have some to hoard and one to use. Alright, sales tax, and then I wanted to also work on some new designs. So, let's use another laptop sticker from Planeresque. have too much going on on either of these days, Thursday or Friday, so I'm going to actually take one of the washi strips that has a phrase on it, and I should be able to stretch this over, yeah, over both days, and it can take up some space.
Okay, it kind of goes into Saturday, but that's okay. It's just the weekend. So I'm going to put that there. In fact, I might actually layer some more washi tape on top of it. I almost never get to use my washies in my actual planners. I use them um, more in my scrapbooks and things, but it's really fun to be able to use them in my planners. Okay, that's fun. I like how that looks a lot. All right. So I worked on some new designs. I also filmed on this day. I'm trying to get a really good stock of videos um, filmed and ready to go just because I know I'm going to be out of town um, at the end of July, beginning of August, and then at the beginning of September I'll also be out of town. So I want to have a lot of videos ready to go and it's working so far. I have videos ready to go until or through August, which is really exciting. So. Anyway, of course I edited and uploaded after I filmed. What next? Um, oh, I ate another peanut butter and jelly rice cake, which y'all know I've been really into those lately. So let's get... a peanut butter st sticker from my shop. I'm going to use this one. And let's put that on this light red box. Perfect. Next, I need to wash the dishes. So this time I'll use the Dishes Winston to switch it up again. There, he's so cute. And then I worked on the puzzle a little bit with my sister. So for that, I want to use a different puzzle sticker than the one I used on Monday, so first I have to find them. <laughs> I've actually been trying really hard to use up um, partially empty sheets for my collection and it's working well. I think I've gotten rid of about six sheets so far this week, which is really good. Alright, so... I have this puzzle sticker from Once More With Love. So puzzle time. I also wanted to wash my hair this night. So I think, that, I think that'll be the last thing I mark for this day. I'm going to take this hair washing sticker from Stick with the Plan Co. And the script that I made for myself. Okay, on to Friday. I already have my workout marked. And then first thing in the morning, I wanted to send an email to Silhouette Support because I was still having issues with my software. So that is done. Then I wanted to design $2 Tuesday. So to mark that, I'm actually going to use this really cute cow on a laptop sticker. This is from Once More With Love. that I wanted to do orders. I think I'll put that on a half box. Let's use the dark blue one. Of 
going to mark that with this silhouette sticker that is from Very Cute Designs. Also on this day, I got a package. I ordered a new swimsuit from Body Glove and it came this day and I was really excited. Um, I love Body Glove. Their stuff is such high quality. So to mark my Body Glove package, I think I'm going to use this red um, Mailbox Winston. And then um, I actually wrote my planner that I was bored. So I don't know why I was so bored. I'm guessing Ashley wasn't home because usually when she's home, I'm not bored. But to mark being bored, I'm going to use this wonderful board Winston, which I actually drew that as a joke one day. And it has become one of our most popular Winstons. So I'm glad y'all like him. And then to fill up some space, let's use some more washi. Um, let's use the pinwheels. I really like using washi, it's so fun. All right, so let's put this here. and trim it off. I also like cutting washi this way because I don't have to use my X-Acto knife and I don't have to worry about cutting through my page. All right, so I didn't organize my stickers this night because I had nothing better to do. But before I put that down, I'm gonna put down this box to mark reading so I know how much time I have, or time, so I know how much space I have above that. Um, I do have organized stickers, Winston's. That was a freebie with, I think, our Black Friday um, orders a long time ago. What else do I have? That might be it. So I might just take him and put him here. Do I really not have any other sticker stickers? That's so funny. Anyway, that is marked. Now I'm going to mark reading. And for tonight, I'm going to use this book sticker from the Prairie Planner and a reading time script from my shop. So now we can go over to the weekend. Alright, so I slept in both days. Do I want to mark that this weekend? Let's see. I know I don't have any scripts, but let's see if I have any other stickers that I want to use. Okay, I think I might use this panda sticker from Happy Daya. And this sleepy munchkin from Once More With Love. So for breakfast on Saturday, I had cinnamon apple oatmeal, which I want to mark. So should I put it on a label? I might do that. And I'll use these utensil stickers from my shop. And after that, I need to go get groceries. So 
So I'm going to use my current favorite groceries combination, which is this Grocery Winston, and then this Get Groceries script from my shop. Okay, then I went for a hike. So let's grab a hiking sticker. And I have some from Happy Dea that should match really well because this girl is uh, red and blue. Alright, hike is marked. When we got home, I wanted to voice over and upload a video really fast. I guess I forgot to do that at work the day before. Next, I wanted to bake a blueberry pie. So I'm going to take this half box and also this pie sticker that I made for myself. And on this day I actually got more Happy Meal from Odd Loop, which I was really excited about. So let's grab some more package or Happy Meal stickers. Let's see what we can find today. A lot of my mail stickers are just not the right color, <laughs> but I do have these from Sugar Pop Fizz that I'm going to use. Okay, what next? Um, I need to do some planning for a vacation that's coming up soon. But first, at the bottom, I want to mark that I finished uh, the book I was reading. So let's get another reading sticker. Which one haven't I used yet? I think I might use this one. I'll go ahead and put that there. Kind of work up from the bottom. Because above that, I'm going to mark working on a puzzle. With a puzzle Winston. And then for the vacation planning, I'm going to use a dot. Alright, over to Sunday. Let's go and finish up the week. So I already marked sleeping in. Next I'm going to mark that I took the trash out. I've actually been trying to mark more of my chores because I have a lot of chores stickers that I just don't tend to use. I guess because it's stuff that I do, you know, it's just such a regular part of my life. I don't even think about marking it, but I want to I wanna use up these stickers. So for taking out the trash, I'm going to use this Recycling Winston. I also have Trash Can Winstons, but I wanted to use a red sticker right here, so. And then I went to Fresh Market, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and use up my last half box to mark that. And we'll grab another grocery sticker. 
going to use this one from Erica G Designs. What next? Oh, I also, when I was at Fresh Market, I got a chicken salad croissant for lunch, and it was so tasty. I really, really liked it, so I think I'm going to mark that as well. Um, I'm going to use this berry sticker from Grin and Bear at Plans. After that, I did a one hour power clean. Um, just felt like cleaning some stuff, so. And I always feel like I clean better if I put myself on a timer, which I know makes no sense, but I just like to race the clock, I guess. So let's get a cleaning sticker I'm going to use. I think this, this blue cleaning Winston. And I was going to put it on a label, but there's a box right next to it, so I'll just write it down. Okay, then I ate some blueberry pie and ice cream, of course, because it was there and it was tasty. So I'm going to use this utensils sticker and mark that down. Next up, okay, I don't have a ton left to mark this day, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put some washi down at the very bottom, and then I'll just fill in the leftover space. So I'm going to take another strip of this star washi. And I think I'm going to layer on top of it the... Um, hooray summer washi it's kind of bugging me how it's not straight right there so I'm gonna grab my exacto knife and hopefully since my pencil board is back there I won't have cut through my planner <laughs> That is better. Now let me get the Hooray Summer one ready to go. Right on top. This is so cute. Alright, same thing. Trim him. And that one's a little bit crooked too, but I'm going to leave it because it's clear so you can't tell very much. Alright, so I've started a new book this night, and I also did some more puzzle work. So let's grab another book sticker. I think I'm going to use this blue book from... It's from Planner Ask. I think I'm going to put it on a label, though. Oops, I smeared my puzzle time writing right there. When did I do that? And for, wait, did I use all my puzzle stickers already? I think I, I've already, I don't have that many puzzle stickers, so I'm probably going to have to just reuse one. I'll use this one from Midnight Snack Planner again. Oops. And once this is done, I think I'm going to decorate a little bit. On this day, I started reading The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells because Ashley is a huge Wells fan, and I finally gave in and let her give me one of his books to read. So I just didn't want to read it that much because I'm not a big science fiction person. But anyway, so I'm going to put some deco over here in the corner. 
I'm going to use that fireworks sticker and I think this cute little Munchkin the Uncle Sam hat. And then I'm going to put this shooting star munchkin up there. It's so adorable. Okay, now I'm going to zoom you out and show you the whole spread. All right, there is my completed 4th of July spread. I really like how it looks. It's so cute. I love all the patriotic colors and stars and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing me put this together. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!